Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 on my FormBot Voron Trident Kit. So I'm going to talk about the bed here a little bit. You can see mine looks like a little bit of a mess here, but what I've done here is I have applied my silicone heater and for insurance I've also put on some red RTV around the edges here. If this 3M double-sided um, adhesive were to fail and this heater fell off of the build plate there's a potential that if my solid state relay failed this could continuously could just keep heating up and start a fire so that's why we also have a thermal fuse here this fuse is rated for 125 degrees and i have actually siliconed it to the heat pad not the bed in the Voron documentation, it says to bolt it to the build plate. Again, if this heater ever detached from the build plate, this fuse being here wouldn't help me because it's monitoring the temperature of the actual build plate, not the heater. So I've siliconed it here. I've also wired it in. This goes in line to the actual heater. So um, FormBot's already cut a, a sh this one short so that you would wire the fuse in. And then this is gonna be my other length here that I'm gonna run. So you can see here I have a long one and then I'm actually gonna be running this to my actual SSR. This is my thermistor here. So that's just something to note here. Um, it's definitely recommended to put a bead of red RTV around this just for insurance so that if this ever peeled off, you have some something else holding it on. And then, like I say, I really recommend you put the thermal fuse here. Again, if this got over 125 degrees, this would pop and um, stop heat. So let's move on to talking about the frame. Okay, so I have mounted my bed. Pretty straightforward. For the afterburner extru uh, clockwork extruder and also the afterburner tool head, um, pretty straightforward. Follow the Voron uh, build guide. Um, don't tighten the bolts down really tight. You definitely want to make sure that you can spin this uh, gear here by hand. It should spin nice and smooth with no issues. And then you can start slowly tightening bolts up and things like that. You want to make sure that this latch functions correctly. That you can open it and it closes properly and clicks down and is nice and flush. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. No real issues here. Definitely very easy. For the cable chains, what you want to do is you want to actually run your wires through here before you mount the cable chain to the mount here and to the mount here. Because these latches here that you can see, they're actually underneath. They're on the bottom for the most part of the chain. So you need to unlatch all those run your wires through them and then latch it and then you can actually mount it onto the frame. Same thing for the Y here too. I just undid all the latches while it was off, ran all my wires through and then latched them all up. So that turned out pretty well. It's actually quite nice and clean here so that's nice. Do not forget any wires. I had to redo this because I forgot my extruder wire. So there's a total of six wires on the tool head. You have one for your motor, one for your uh, inductive probe, one for your fan, part cooling fan, one for your uh, hot end fan, and then you have your heater cartridge and your thermistor. There's six in total. You wanna make sure you have those six. Another one too that might get you here is the end stops. So something to note here, FormBot kits ship with Halifax sensor and stops. You do need to use magnets. I have one magnet mounted here. Um, I haven't mounted my other magnet which is up here because we do have to check the polarity of them first while this is on. But just do note there's a wire here that you need to plug in and also fish into this cable chain. So two things to note there. Make sure you're doing your end stop if you're using Halifax sensors like this FormBot. Make sure you're Connecting that, I actually had to reprint a piece here because my kit actually came with the printed part for the mechanical end stops, 
which does not ship with FormBot kit. So I had to reprint that and I had to run all my cables. So just something to note, not a big deal, take your time. Um, you are going to have to take out links for the cable chain. So I had to take out a fair amount of links. You can see over here. You know, don't be afraid to take these out. They, they come off really easy. So I definitely had to take those. As well as you need to flip around the end part here. They're actually flipped the other way around. You won't be able to bolt them onto your actual mount. You need to flip them over. So just note that too. Both ends need to be flipped. And you also need to take some links out of the chain. Okay, so I will flip over the printer and I'll show you kind of my electronics layout. And then the next video will be full detailed wiring. So let's take a look underneath the printer. All right, so here's the printer upside down. I have my DIN rails here. Really nice mounted and then they're tensioned with these M3 screws so they don't slide back and forth. I have mounted my... Big Tree Tech Octopus here. Make sure you go on the Voron documentation site and look at how this board is configured physically. You do need to remove a lot of jumpers on the steppers. You'll only have one jumper on. You can see these red. I don't know if you can see them there. Those jumpers. It will show you on the site, on the Voron documentation site, which jumpers you should leave. You're only leaving one jumper per stepper and that's to turn on UART. That's all that you're actually putting on there. And then um, it tells you to remove a jumper here because we're gonna be powering the Raspberry Pi by five volts. And then you need to move this jumper over to the far end here so that we're gonna be running 24 volts to the probe. And then I had to move this jumper all the way down. This jumper sets the voltage for your fans so this is setting it to power supply voltage, which is 24 volts. All of our fans are 24 volts. So again, go to the Voron documentation site. They have a really great picture of this and they tell you what jumper to take off and what jumpers to put on. So this is held on with 3D printed mounts. Really nice, they just clip in place. And then you can actually still slide this around if you need to. And then you can do all your wiring. Same thing with the power supply. It even has a really nice bracket here so the power supply is nice and stable. And then the FormBot kit, it actually comes with a nice metal bracket here, this metal mount, which is actually quite nice. So that's really handy to have. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, like I say, I am going to take my time and try to do a wiring setup episode. Um, I will have everything kind of wired, but I'm gonna leave it open and we'll take some time and go through it, what, what's plugging into where, things like that. Um, like I say, I'm not using a Raspberry Pi on this build. I'm using a old laptop that I'm gonna run Clipper on. So I'm not using the Raspberry Pi and I'm not using the Raspberry Pi um, little five volt power supply, but um, we can go over those as well. So um, thanks everyone again, stay tuned for next episode.